Hey, wait a sec. You already cut me, so why'd you stick me back on here? I'm sticking you back on so you can keep facing the sun to dry out. If you wanted to dry me, then just dry me. Doing it like this, you're just mocking me? Drying it like this doesn't take up much space. Just get a good tan. I'll be back in a week to collect you. One week later. Yo, little bro, you got a nice tan. Sticking the cut sunflower head back onto the stalk to sun dry save space. It makes it easier to remove the seeds. Her her. What flavor of sunflower seeds should I make today? Huh? Bro, just stop trying so hard. We're young sunflowers. We're supposed to face the sun all day. But why, though? At this rate, we're gonna get totally sunburned. Under our flower heads, there's a growth hormone called oxen. But here's the tea. It hates light. So the shaded side of our stem grows faster than the sunny side, which makes our heads bend towards the sun. So you're saying we're gonna be stuck like this forever? Nah, chill. At night, the oxen redistributes, and around 3 a.m., we slowly turn back to face east, ready for the sunrise. Ooh, what a workout every single day. Oh my god, why are all these sunflowers turned around and staring at me? <laughs> um, this one's growing nicely. Hey! This one's also pretty good, yo! Hey, why are you growing so small? I was born this small, so what? Is that a crime? Hey, hey, why are you pinching me off? You eat so many nutrients, but you still won't grow. If I don't pinch you, who should I pinch? When growing tomatoes, you have to manage the fruit clusters by pinching off the small ones. The others will grow so much better. Hey, I'm growing my garlic scape. <laughs> hey, what the heck? I just grew that and you picked it off. Aya, don't be ungrateful. Look how withered you look. I'm not going to eat your table scraps. Stop talking nonsense. Just eat. <laughs> After you pick the scapes, giving the garlic plenty of water and fertilizer can extend the photosynthesis time of the leaves and the absorption ability of the roots. This ensures the garlic bulb grows big. I, uh, I was looking forward to eating this big garlic. I knew old guys were ruthless. Wow, eating and drinking until the garlic head is full, it's hard not to grow big. Heh <laughs> heh, spring is back. I gotta grow fast and sell for a good price. <sighs> Hey, you're here. I've been waiting forever. Look how great I look. Hurry up and harvest me. Wow, oh, hey, you're not playing by the rules. Why'd you just rip my head off? If I sell you now, the price is too low. By snapping off the top, I can let you grow a new one. Now, grow well. <sighs> For the sake of survival, I must continue the grind. <laughs> Gotta wait for the price to go up, and now my scallions have grown back. Perfect time to sell. Check out my sparkling white stalk. Check out my gorgeous green leaves. And check out this figure, Aya. Why am I so good looking? Good looking, good looking, my foot. You're supposed to be a giant leek, but you're pathetically short. How dare you even call yourself a leek? You've grown all stocky. What's the point? Isn't being good looking enough? No, I'm going to make you taller. <laughs> you, you threw dirt right on my face. Why did you cover up my beautiful white part? How am I supposed to look good now? <laughs> Why? Why is the shovel back? <laughs> hey, are your hands just itchy or something? By using the special giant variety and healing them with soil three or for times, the leaks that grow are incredibly tall. <laughs> Oh, you can actually flower. Does it mean you'll bear fruit, too? Of course, and my fruit is super sweet and delicious. Stop your lying. You're an Aram family plant. You're supposed to be poisonous. Are you trying to kill me? Who's lying? Just you wait. Hey, this fruit actually looks pretty decent. Can you really eat it? Well, here I go. Wait, don't you value your life? What now? I thought you said it wasn't poisonous. My fruit is non-toxic when it's fully ripe. And this isn't ripe yet. It looks huge. How can you tell if it's ripe? You have to wait until the little scale-like peels at the bottom start falling off on their own. That's when it's ripe. And how long does that take? This fruit takes a whole year to ripen. And once it does, you have to eat it immediately or it rots super fast. The fruit from this monstera tastes amazing. I thought something you can't buy online would be bad. That thing is delicious, but it's poisonous when unripe and rots quickly when it's ripe. 
Of course, no one sells it. Where do you even get that one? You can't buy the wow. fruit, but you can buy the Monstera plant. Growing at home to purify the air. And you get a rare, edible fruit. It's wonderful. Hey, you've got buds. Here's some fertilizer to help you bloom sooner. Wait a minute, what kind of fertilizer is this? If you want me to bloom, you gotta give me phosphorus fertilizer. You should be grateful you're getting fed at all. Why are you so picky? Nitrogen is for leaves, phosphorus is for flowers. You've specced my talent points all wrong. How am I supposed to bloom now? The wildflowers outside are so poor they don't even have fertilizer to eat. With your conditions, you still have the nerve to be picky about fertilizer. Hurry up and eat. Oh, this is so hard on a flower. You just know how to poo at me. 2,000 years. Why did the flower buds fall off again? I've told you so many times, to bloom, you need to use phosphorus fertilizer. You keep insisting on using nitrogen fertilizer. Aya, I'm the only flower in this room. No friends around. It's so boring. What if I take one of your cuttings and make a new friend for you? <gasps> Isn't that gonna take, like, forever? Not at all. I've got a secret weapon. With this thing, it won't take long at all. See, bananas rot fast, which means they're absorbed fast. And the ethylene gas inside also stimulates new roots. You just hang tight. I'm out of here. When you want to propagate cuttings, using a banana to stimulate root growth, it sure saves a lot of time. Her, her, what a crime! But I finally found a sprouted coconut! Well, yes, I'm not growing into a tree. Today's the day I meet my aunt. Hey, chill! I was never gonna eat you! You're not gonna eat me? Then what's the plan? Oh, so you wanna plant me? Then just plant me. Why are you peeling my skin off? If I don't peel it, it won't have the right aesthetic! Dude, at least leave a crack for me to breathe. Why'd you bury me completely? This coconut grows roots from the top, creating a floating bonsai look. It just looks so good. Ooh, my leaves are all yellow and they're still not giving me any nutrients. Finally, it's my time to shine. Whoa, such a big barrel. Are you gonna make me drink the whole thing? I'm here to give you the good stuff. I'm full of homemade enzyme fertilizer. Super rich in nutrients. It's made by putting unwanted fruit and veggie scraps in a fermentation barrel. Then adding brown sugar and water to ferment. Whoa, that smell is intense. On second thought, I'm good. I don't want it. Her, her. I get it. I don't want it really means I want it, right? Huh? Drink up. <laughs> 2,000 years later. Wow, my homemade enzyme fertilizer works so well. It's eco-friendly, healthy, and it even makes these tomatoes taste different. Ding, ding, ding. Wacky Farmer, always fresh, always fun.